Good morning. <clears throat> John chapter 4. Now Jacob's well was there. Jesus, therefore, being weary, tired, Jesus was man and God. With his journey, sat thus on the well, and it was about the sixth hour. And there cometh a woman of Samaria to draw water. Jesus said unto her, Give me to drink. All right, so the well had no bucket or facility to get a drink. The woman comes. God, God Jesus Christ, is weary. He's tired. And he's thirsty. And the same Jesus says, ask, seek, and knock. The same Jesus and the same God that says, pray unto him, ask him all our needs. <clears throat> we ask, I mean, we receive not because we ask not. He says, give me a drink. Now read verses 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 39, 40. Read all the verses, rest all the way down to verse 54. Where did Jesus get a drink of water? And this is after he's turned the water into wine. Okay. John chapter 2. He turns the water into wine. You know, every, and every everybody who wants to get away with, with drinking alcohol. Well, you know, Jesus turned the water into wine. Read chapter 2, verses 1 to 25. And tell me where he drank of the water. Never mind drank of the wine or the water. Okay. John. Chapter 19. Verse 28. And after this Jesus. Knowing that all things were now accomplished. That the scripture might be fulfilled. Saying. Or say it, excuse me, <clears throat> I thirst. I thirst. Well, back over here in John chapter 4, he says, give me the drink. He's now on the cross. He's suffering. <clears throat> Crucifixion is suffering. He was weary. I thirst. I'm asking for a drink. God, the creator. That made water, John, uh, Genesis chapter 1. The creator that made a grape that can be crushed to wine, new wine. The creator. Our savior that is on the cross that's about to die. Says, I thirst. Now there was a vessel full of vinegar. And they filled a sponge with vinegar, not a cup, not a glass, and put it upon the hyssop <clears throat> and put it to his mouth. I'm thirsty. I am that Passover land that, that is to be roasted with fire. I am going into hell <clears throat> like that rich man in hell. Just give me a little drop of water. Jesus, I'm thirsty. What did they give him? Vinegar. Can you imagine? You've been working all day. You're you're out in the sun. I'm down here in, in Florida. The sunshine state. You're out in the sun. You've been working all day. And you come into your house and your spouse gives you a nice, lukewarm, room temperature vinegar. Now, does that sound appetizing? And yet, God, our creator, Jesus Christ, who made water, who made a grape that could be made into wine, <clears throat> excuse me, asked the woman, he says, give me a drink. He never got it. Read John chapter 4. John 19, he says, I thirst, and he gets something. He gets vinegar. Now, I am one of the ones that can take pickle juice and pour it in a cup and sit here and drink pickle juice. I love it. But that's not a drink. 
that you offered. Uh, all right, sit down. Can I offer you a cup of coffee, a, 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 a soda, water, pickle juice, vinegar? Would you, what would you like? Welcome to the restaurant. Would you like to see the, the vinegar list <laughs> menu? Why is it that God, the creator, the savior, in our expectation of asking God, we have the expectation of receiving from God. <clears throat> but when Jesus had an expectation, there was nothing given. And we boo-hoo, boo-hoo, oh, the world mistreats me as a Christian. Jesus said, marvel not because they hated him first. How much did they hate him? Give me a drink. No answer. And he gave that, that entire, that woman in her entire town or city got right and believed on the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, whether it was salvation, it wasn't, it was before the death of Jesus. <clears throat> Jesus had not died yet in John chapter 4. He had not been buried. And he had not been resurrected from the dead in John chapter 4. So it's not the gospel salvation. You're still under the law. And they were half-breed Jews. So what do you do with that one? They were half-Jews and half-Gentiles. And then when he's on the cross and he's before the Roman citizens and he's before the Jewish people on the cross, I'm thirsty. And somebody, it doesn't even say who, gives him vinegar. Well, that's quite interesting. God asked for a drink. I'm thirsty. I mean, you walked into a, a a restaurant, and you know what? You're tired, and you're you're, you're you're you've had a hard day. And it says here in Luke 23, the soldiers mock him, coming to him and offering him vinegar. So it says one place the soldiers. I'm just going through this. And it just says one ran and got, it says one ran and filled a sponge full of vinegar. Not even a cup, a sponge. So you you step into a, a restaurant and it says they gave him vinegar to drink mixed with gall. <clears throat> and he tasted it and he would not drink, Matthew 27, 34. So you walk into this restaurant, you sit down, and we have two options you can you can at this restaurant. Sir, may, may I take your order? Yes, please give me a drink. And the waiter never comes back to your table. You come into the restaurant, you sit down, and you say, "I thirst." Okay, and he comes back with a sponge with vinegar. Think about that. Think about how mad you would be sitting in that restaurant. I thirst, I mean, no, uh, uh, give me a drink. And you don't get any. And, but you, you get into a good debate. I mean, that debate for that woman turned out good. She believed on Jesus, the Messiah. That's a good debate. But he didn't get no drink. He didn't get no water. And you got to wonder how well that water was. How, how Was it cold? Was it good? Did it have to be strained? But he says, I, I, give me drink. And he didn't get it. And the waiter, give me drink. And you don't get, how mad would you be? How long would it be before I demand management? As simple as something as water. 
I grew up, when I grew up as a kid, it used to be every restaurant you went to, except for the fast food restaurants, and there was only, it was only three to choose from then. But it, many of the restaurants I grew up, you were given a free glass of water. And me, as I, I drink that glass of water down, the way to refill it, I keep refilling it. To me, it was, it was great. Yeah, I drink, 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 drink. <laughs> <clears throat> But Jesus did not get. And then you go into a restaurant and you sit down, I thirst. And you get a sponge of vinegar. And you take a taste of it, yeah, it's vinegar. And you throw it back down the table. This is the same God, the same Jesus. I can call down legions of angels. This is the same. He's on the cross now. He is suffering. He's not at a restaurant in John chapter 19. He's on the cross. He's suffering, dying for our sins. For God so loved the world that the world gives him a sponge full of vinegar. And then we get angry. I get angry. I don't know about you. Maybe you're holier. I mean, you've never gotten angry when you prayed to God for something. And you didn't get it. And we forget the petition of Jesus, who is God and man. Twice, he received something that he created. And still, it's the work of the devil. Why? Oh, you hungry, Jesus? Yeah, 40 days and 40 nights, no food? Change these rocks into water. And here comes, here comes Satan again. All right, hey, make your own water, Jesus. Come on, God. All right, you wouldn't turn the, you wouldn't turn the stones into bread. What are you going to do to make water? You're thirsty. That woman comes up, give me a drink. And the then the devil whispers in her ear, don't give him nothing. Start a debate with him. And that's what happened. Uh, hey, Jesus, you're in agony on the cross. You're suffering for the, you know, for God so loved the world, Jesus. You thirst? Don't give him any. No, no. All right. No, I already played that game. Before. Give him vinegar. To the worlds of the devil, marvel not, my brethren, if the world hates you. Know that the world hated me first. They gave Jesus. You, you tell me there was no water there? There was no water for the soldiers? The soldiers didn't have any kind of canteen? The Jewish people didn't have any. We're, we're near the outside the gates of Jerusalem. Not in Jerusalem. We're on the outside the gates of Jerusalem. There was no possible anybody to go run up and get their God, their Savior. A cup of water. Where was Peter? Where was Matthew? Where was Luke? Where is the people whose eyes God opened? Jesus. Where are the people that their ears are now can hear that Jesus healed them? Where are the tongues that could not speak, now spoken? Where are the bodies not affected by devils any longer? And early the Gospel of John, John chapter 4, Jesus is sitting on a well made by Jacob. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, the 12 tribes of Israel. Give me drink. You didn't get nothing. But the entire city believed on him. Amen. And we come years later. In John chapter 19, he is suffering, dying on the cross. I thirst. And he gets a sponge of vinegar. And yet the same Jesus said, if, if a man will give you a cup full of water, and I think in a prophet's name, he shall get a prophet's reward.
I don't know. This is what the Lord laid on my heart last night. I don't know what kind of come to the conclusion is that, you know, we ask for God. We ask from Jesus. And how many times Jesus asks us for something? And we don't give it to him. 